caught my now XGF in bed with a rando from Tinder. We had been together for over a year. There were red flags all over the place right from the beginning. Like the very first month of us becoming official, I found her hanging out with a guy she had met before me. She actually had him pick her up outside of my house. I am not sure whether they just hung out or they actually hooked up. I almost broke up with her then, but she apologized profusely and promised not to do it again. Only after a couple of months of that I found her talking to lots of men on Tinder and Bumble. She also had subscriptions to these apps. Once again I had my foot out of the door but she persisted and begged for me to stay. I definitely regret doing this. Fast forward to last month, we almost broke up, due to her needy slash entitled behaviors that I don't want her right down here, but reconciled and had a long discussion on how we should work together on loving each other. Although during this discussion, she revealed that she had kissed a guy the night before, she met this guy through OLD before me, thinking she was going to break up with me. I wonder if that left a deep mark on her thinking and she somehow took that as a pass for cheating, after I caught her cheating she unveiled that this guy actually went oral on her. Things took a sharp turn soon after this reconciliation. I was going to be gone for two weeks on a cross-country road trip with my friends. We both had cozy moments together before I started for the trip and we both kissed, cuddled, made out and expressed as much love as we could for each other. During the trip I called her whenever I could from all of the places I visited, some days I just didn't have signal since I was in the middle of nowhere, point one night she messaged me that she had to go to the ER because she had blood in her urine and how she was disappointed that I was not around to take care of her. I was a startled by that comment because obviously I was on my trip far away. She then had me look up pharmacies that delivered medications around her, even though she knew I was in a place with spotty internet and signal, and also made me order some comfort food for her to feel better through DoorDash. I kept sending her food, flowers and cards wishing she got better for the next few days. After that things were normal for a couple of days and then suddenly there was some kind of switch that turned on in her. During one of the calls she mentioned that she wanted space for herself and she wanted me to have fun on my trip and not think much about her. She had never mentioned this ever throughout the relationship, if anything she was the exact opposite of it, craving for attention, admiration, upliftment all the time. She also told me that she was going to meet two sets of friend on Friday and Saturday. As far as I know, she only had one group of girlfriends that she usually hung out with, so it was quite bizarre. This was deeply unsettling for me and made me uncomfortable given the past emotional affairs she had. I tried not to think about it since I was on the road trip and didn't want to be the downer in my group. I then texted her on Sunday morning asking how her weekend was going so far and she didn't respond to me until 11 p.m. She said it was fun and she was doing good. But deep within I had a hunch that it was all a lie and she most definitely had hooked up with someone but I tried not to overthink it for the rest of my trip. The night before I flew back I had sent her some food through DD, she had wrist ache and couldn't cook, and I called her to ask whether she received it, she didn't take my call and later texted me saying she wanted to have time for herself and not be bothered. I respected that and didn't respond. The next day I flew back and went straight to her place and she welcomed me with open arms. We hugged each other and she said that she loved me and missed me a lot. We got intimate after that and watched a movie together. For some reason she kept on saying I was really handsome and sexy the whole night. The very next day she mentioned that she was going to meet her girlfriend again and wouldn't be free until evening. Once again I had a hunch that this was a lie too. She came back from the meetup in the evening and called me to go for a run with her which I did. I later drove her to her place and we cuddled on the bed for a bit. She suddenly started getting anxiety attack and I hugged her tight to make her feel better. She talked about how she is afraid of being alone and how much she loves me for who I am. I hugged her and rained all my love on her to make her feel better. I sat and patiently listened to her and made sure she was okay before leaving her place around 3 a.m. in the morning. I told her that I was going to be busy at work due to company offsite that week and wouldn't be able to meet her during the weekdays. Next evening, Monday, she texted me that she wanted to go out to a bar with me on Friday and I agreed to it. 
Tuesday she texted me at 11 p.m. and told me she was thinking about me and wanted me to stop by at her place. I told her that I had to be at work at 8 a.m. the next morning. Wednesday afternoon she texted me asking whether I was gonna have dinner at office and I said yes, we had a team dinner. My dinner ended around 9 p.m. and I packed some food to go to give her and headed to her place. I wanted to surprise her so I didn't give her a heads up that I was coming. I reached her place around 9.45 p.m. and knocked on her door. She texted me she couldn't open it because she was with a friend on the bed. Yes she literally texted me that. My heart skipped a beat reading it. I dropped the food on the floor and collapsed to the ground. She opened the door and rushed towards me to stop me from running back to my car. She pushed me inside the house and I saw this dude standing there wearing shorts. Apparently she told him that we had broken up. I was so devastated and had thousands of questions in my head. She kept apologizing for hours and hours but I was too tired and left. I told her I needed some time to think about this situation. The next day she texted me in the evening saying that we were not going to meet Friday. I asked her whether she was going to meet someone else. She didn't respond for a while. Later that night she sent me a big list as to why she cheated on me. Apparently it was all my fault that she cheated. The list contained things like this, you did not send me good morning slash good night messages on time towards the beginning of this relationship, you cannot wait 15 minutes for me when you come to pick me up, you talk about. I was not happy reading all this and drove to her place to have a face to face conversation about these accusations. She said she would call the cops on me. She eventually let me inside but had no interest in engaging in a conversation. We eventually broke up afterwards. Overall, I'm really heartbroken by this whole episode and can't wrap my head around why someone would sabotage the relationship in such a disrespectful manner and put the blame on me. Looking for coping slash grieving advice. Loudly crying face. Edit. I just found out that she has already started sleeping with another dude from Tinder just four days after breaking up.